back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today is my first official day of pharmacy school. So I'm gonna do my little morning routine, pack my tote bag, pack a lunch, and then we're gonna head to campus. just made my master schedule up yesterday of what courses I'm taking. So I'm taking six courses and two of those courses have labs. I honestly don't have my schedule memorized yet because all the courses kind of sound the same. It's like Farm 126, Farm 127, Farm 110, Farm 124, and it's like there's no words but I, I need to learn those words. My eyebrows are done and honestly, I'm thinking of leaving at this because literally no one is looking at me and no one cares about me. That sounded dark, but like for real. I'll wear this because it's like cozy but also school vibes you know for like first day of school and then I think I'm gonna just wear white jeans oh my god I totally gained weight because these jeans do not fit anymore so this is kind of the completed look and I can't forget you guys so you're in here too and <laughs> have to go to class now <laughs> Believe it or not, this is actually my first in-person lecture at my university ever. If you didn't know, I did my undergrad in the last two years, which was during the pandemic. So it was all online, obviously, except for a few exams. So that doesn't really count as classes. So this was exciting for me. I actually got to meet my classmates face to face, meet the prof at the end of class. And if you guys are curious about the academic timeline, I got into pharmacy school after just two years of undergrad and I got in last spring, but the program starts in January, which is why I'm starting now. My second course of the day is a systems approach to anatomy one, but we're also going to cover physiology and histology, like all the ologies. And it's no doubt going to be my hardest course of the year. They stressed this like 30 times in the orientation and it was only an hour long, but it's totally ingrained in my memory now. I think we're supposed to dedicate 60 to 70% of our study time in a week to this course alone and its lab. So I definitely have my work cut out for me. I did take physiology in my last term of undergrad and it was one of the most interesting courses I took even though it was online, so I'm hoping my interest in the subject can help outweigh some of the nerves that I'm getting. One thing I'm excited for these next few weeks is finding new study spots around the area and on campus in general. This is one thing I definitely missed out on by having an online undergrad. So many people have a favorite library on campus and I don't even know all the libraries. So I'm definitely excited to try some things out and just like see what I like essentially. I did try out cafes here and there with my friends back at home, but it's just not the same when you're in a student city. You just see way more people studying. It motivates you to be productive. And it's also way more normal to stay in one spot in a coffee shop for like three hours so i'm excited for that i've also gotten really used to independent study but i'm open to working collaboratively with classmates again i think it's great to have study groups and just hold each other accountable it makes learning tough content much easier so how i'm taking notes for my cells course is by making like active recall questions in my notion dashboard so anytime i like learn something on a slide i make a question about it and make what i learned the answer so then i'll just be able to like toggle it open and see what it says So that 
cafe closed at like seven o'clock so daniel and i just walked over to the pharmacy building and now we're in one of like the fish bowls that i just reserved for like four hours but i want to finish up at least two hours of the cell lectures and then also do the two quizzes that are due on sunday and then that'll probably be it Hi guys, good morning. It is day two of pharmacy school. Today's Wednesday and I was supposed to have two classes in the morning, but my pharmaceutics and my anatomy lectures are online. So my props actually won't be at the lecture hall. So everyone gets to kind of like sleep in today. But this morning I'm gonna make the most Brianna breakfast ever. I'm gonna make toast with peanut butter and bananas on top because it's quick and it's easy. I make it in almost every study vlog. So it makes sense to make it in the new apartment for the new program for the new year. If this is not the most Brianna setup ever, I don't know what is. I'm having the most typical breakfast and also just working on research tasks in my free time. But today I'm really glad that I got this morning to just move a little bit slower and settle into a new routine. Like I said, I'm currently working on a research task for a research group I'm a part of at the School of Pharmacy. I've been with this group for quite some time actually. I initially reached out in my first year of undergrad, so it's been over two years, but I really like the work we're doing and I'm interested to see it all come to fruition. And I do have some exciting news. I did get an iPad recently. I haven't even unboxed it, so we're gonna be doing that together today. I honestly don't know anything about digital note taking, so I'm a little bit apprehensive to get started. But I talked to some friends and some classmates, and it looks like Good Notes is gonna be the way to go for me. So let's unbox this. I got the iPad Air fifth generation with just Wi-Fi and 256 gigabytes, and I got it in the shade Starlight to match my phone. And this is the Apple Pencil 2. And then I also got a paper screen protector. So I'm gonna apply this off camera because putting a screen protector on is way too much pressure, even more pressure than doing a nice unboxing. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back from my afternoon lecture and I just got in an Amazon package of two things that I need. I got my iPad case. I just got a green kind of like matcha theme and then I also just got in Govi light bars. So you can put these like, to light up your desk or you can actually attach them to the back of your monitor. It's basically ambiance lighting. Oh, but an update on the iPad I got on the matte screen protector and it just feels so much better when I'm writing. And now let me tell you guys about one of the biggest challenges I've been facing this week. And it's not one of the typical moving out for the first time challenges, like not knowing how to cook or clean or not knowing how long you can keep raw chicken in the fridge. Mine is more of a mental challenge and it's the classic imposter syndrome. I feel like this is a super common feeling, but no one really talks about it on study tube. So I'm going to, and it's basically where you don't feel like you deserve your accomplishments. You don't feel like you belong. You're a fraud. You have a lot of 
self-doubt and i think my first step to overcoming imposter syndrome is just acknowledging that what i'm experiencing is a phenomenon in itself i know it's not real and i just need to keep reiterating that to myself maybe gaslight myself a little bit to change my current mindset so a few of the things i've been doing is looking at my previous successes that led me to this opportunity focusing on the facts and just saying positive affirmations so if you guys are struggling with imposter syndrome as well definitely try these things out if you haven't and talk to your friends and family you're not alone in this feeling at all and you can always join my discord server where we have a serious channel and we talk about things like this Having a really busy schedule has actually been pretty good for me. I feel like really productive and like there's lots of things to do, but I also have to cut out things of my normal routine. Like I used to read 90 minutes a day. Now I can barely find any time to read at all. And I can't spend like two hours making a singular meal for me. I have to like think about meal prep and I have to think about things that are like convenient and easy. And like I can just like grab out the door. So I've been eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, but yeah, that's it. I already have a little stress pimple coming out because I slept late the other day and I am now a morning person. If you guys follow my spam at not Brianna Kwan, then you would know I actually became a morning person right before the new year. So they just went to morning classes right now. Hasn't been too bad. I honestly just think I move too slowly. Like when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm like getting ready, I move so leisurely because I'm not used to having like hard, hard timelines. It's like you have to be there at 8.30. You can't leave the apartment at 8.30. So yeah, hopefully it'll get better with time. I'm gonna go wash up now. I don't know what she's gonna wear. Probably my dunks. But here's what my outfit looks like. So it's like 11 in the afternoon now and I had my lab in the morning from 9 to like 10 30 and now I'm sitting at my desk doing anatomy is basically what I've been working on all week It's apparently the most volume I'll receive from a course this semester But I'm gonna work from my room today because I have a few other things that I want to work on kind of at the same time And I need my monitor space for that. So yeah, let's get into it
and I always share my course load with you guys. So I'm taking six courses this term with two labs. Course one being Pharm 124, which is pharmaceutics, and the lab Pharm 110, which is anatomy and physiology one with the lab. And then I have Pharm 129, which is professional practice, Pharm 126, which is pharmaceutical calculations. This is actually a fully online tutorial and it's only an hour a week. So, so I think this is going to be my easiest course of the term, but the passing grade is also a 90%. So there's that. And then I'm also taking Pharm 120 which is professional communication skills. It's giving English course, but I don't think it is an English course, but I'll find out later on in the week. And then at Farm 120, which is an introduction to the profession of pharmacy. So I think this is like the history of the healthcare industry and things like that. But yeah, these are all the courses and labs I'm going to be taking for the next four months. Okay guys, I have been working on anatomy for the last, I don't even know how many hours. I've been calling Daisy since like nine o'clock and it's like 2 12 right now i think i want to call it a night actually i got everything that i wanted to get done done so but yeah just to recap on how the first week of pharmacy school went i would rate it like a six and a half out of ten it was exciting and it's really nice to like be in person like that is like the biggest aspect that is also new to me i think what i'm most anxious about is actually the social aspect of it i feel like with school i just like, need to put my head down and like really work hard and like be disciplined and like i feel like i know how to study i know how to be a good student so i'm interested to see how the new semester goes but yeah living alone has been a little bit harder than i thought it would be i'm eating meals at really odd times and I still haven't gotten the hang of meal prep but I will get better as time goes on so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye